Hello and welcome to the video on hot and cold holding of potentially hazardous foods. I'm Amy Vanderplug and the purpose of this video is to inform food service workers, managers, supervisors, and anyone in the food industry about the holding of hot and cold foods. Proper hot and cold holding is important to limit the growth of bacteria and help prevent foodborne illness. Scientific studies have shown that holding food above 135 degrees or below 41 degrees limits the growth of bacteria to safe levels. The Michigan Department of Agriculture conducted a survey of violations found in food service establishments. This 2005 baseline survey showed that at least one improper holding violation was found in 60% of full-service restaurants and 79% of deli operations. Locally improper holding is the number one critical violation cited during inspections. There are five major risk factors of foodborne illness identified by MDA and Center for Disease Control. These include poor personal hygiene, improper holding, inadequate cooking, food and equipment contamination, unapproved food source. The FDA Food Code of 2005 states that any potentially hazardous food must be maintained at 41 degrees or below, or 135 degrees and above, except during preparation, cooking, cooling, or when time is used as a public health control. Proper temperature control begins when food is delivered to the establishment. Delivery. To understand proper temperature control, we need to follow the flow of food through the establishment identifying areas where the food could become unsafe. Our first area is with the delivery of food to the establishment. If the food is delivered cold, it must be 41 degrees or below. Be sure frozen food is solidly frozen and does not have ice crystals. If a hot food item is delivered, the internal temperature must be 135 degrees or above. Use calibrated thermometers to sample temperatures. Check shipments for intact packaging, refreezing, prior wetness, pest infestation. Any food not in proper temperature range should be rejected and not accepted. Storage. The next area of concern after delivery is where the food is to be stored. If it is to be used right away, it may be placed into the walk-in cooler, the reach-in units, or freezer. If it is a hot food, it must be placed into a hot holding device and held at 135 degrees or higher. Prep Cook. The food in the walk-in cooler or other refrigerated units stored at 41 degrees or below will be taken out of refrigeration and prepared. All cooked food must be cooked to the proper internal temperature. For example, chicken and turkey must be cooked to a minimum internal temperature of 165 degrees or higher for 15 seconds to kill harmful bacteria. Holding. All hot food must be held at 135 degrees or above. All cold food must be held at 41 degrees or below. If the foods are not held at the proper temperature, harmful bacteria will grow to an unsafe level. Let's take a look at hot food holding first. The food has been properly received, stored in the walk-in cooler until needed, prepared or cooked quickly and safely. Now the food is placed into a hot holding unit where it will be held for service. The temperature of the food, while hot holding, needs to be checked with the appropriate calibrated sanitized thermometer. Take the internal temperature of the food by inserting the thermometer into the thickest part of the food. If the food is thicker in one part, like a roast or larger cut of meat, you should take two temperatures and record on the log sheet. If a liquid food product, Check the temperature of the food in several areas to ensure that the food product has been evenly heated 
and record temperatures on a log sheet. Take internal temperatures of foods. Take reading in thickest part of food. Make sure heat is evenly distributed. Take several readings if needed. Use the log sheets to record temperatures. Record temperatures accurately and often. Take and record the temperatures of hot food items a minimum of every four hours. It is recommended to take temperatures at least every two hours. This method allows you to make corrections if food temperature drops below 135 degrees. For example, if the food is not at the correct temperature, the hot foods may need to be reheated to 165 degrees or above, or properly cooled to 41 degrees, then reheated, or possibly the food must be discarded. Hot holding reminders. Hold it at an internal temperature of 135 degrees or higher. Only use equipment that can maintain this temperature. Never use hot holding equipment to reheat food. Stir it at regular intervals to distribute heat evenly. Remember, food should be held hot in approved hot holding food equipment, such as steam tables, bain maries and steam cabinets. Hot holding equipment is only designed to maintain a food product temperature, not reheat or cook it. Such hot holding equipment should never be used to heat or reheat foods. Also, be sure to stir frequently to evenly distribute the temperature. Cover foods to maintain product temperature for longer time periods. Now let's take a look at cold food holding. Cold food should be held at 41 degrees or below at all times. The following recommendations will help you maintain the cold food at the proper temperature. When preparing a food like tuna salad, chill as many ingredients as possible before making. Chill the utensils and bowls needed in preparation. Limit the amount of food and the time food is out of refrigeration. For example, large portions should be made in small batches and refrigerated promptly. The temperature of the food, while cold holding, needs to be checked with the appropriate calibrated sanitized thermometer. Cold food holding. When preparing salads containing potentially hazardous ingredients, only use meat and poultry that was safely handled prior to use. Do not use ingredients past their use-by dates. Refrigerate ingredients until ready for use. Chill utensils prior to using them. Prepare the salads in small batches. Take and record the temperature of cold food items a minimum of every four hours. It is recommended that you take the temperature at least every two hours. This method allows you to make corrections if the food temperature rises above 41 degrees. For example, if the food is not at the correct temperature, the cold foods may need to be discarded. There are several ways to ensure the food is kept at 41 degrees or below. Make sure the container of food is surrounded by ice to the level of food in the container. Do not overfill containers. Make sure all insert pans are in place or open areas in make tables are covered. Cover cold foods when not in use. Reach in and walk in cooler doors are kept closed. Don't block airflow of equipment by overloading coolers. Be sure fans are not blocked. And make sure the refrigeration unit is working properly. Remember, it is very important to check the internal temperature of a cold food product whenever it is being held cold, whether on a salad bar, buffet line, make table, walk-in cooler, or in working refrigerators, checking at least every two hours will help to ensure food safety. Taking an active role in your establishment is critical to the prevention of foodborne illness. Following the proper sanitary techniques, procedures, and methods to reduce or eliminate the risk factors mentioned at the start of this video is everyone's responsibility. Can you answer yes to all of these questions? Are all hot and cold foods at the proper temperatures? Are the food temperatures monitored and recorded? Are all employees trained to monitor temperatures? 
Do you have written guidelines regarding hot and cold holding? Does someone verify that temperatures are correct or guidelines are being followed? Do you know what corrective action to take if the food is out of temperature? If you answered no to any of the questions above, how will you make changes? Following a written guideline will help in the prevention of a possible foodborne illness. Remember, it is very important to keep hot foods hot and cold foods cold. Proper hot and cold holding goes hand in hand to limit or slow the growth of bacteria to help prevent foodborne illness. Thank you for watching Hot and Cold Holding of Potentially Hazardous Foods. We hope this video has been informative and educational. Thanks for watching.